Are you an SEO or a blogger that struggles to create blog post ideas for your clients or for your own websites? In this video, I will teach you how you can create tons of blog post ideas up to four years worth in under one minute. Uh, this video is going to be short and to the point, but it'll teach you everything that needs to be done to make a successful blog that turns out great content and drives tons of traffic. So let's get started. All right, so I wanna share with you three really, really cool tools that will allow you to literally generate tons and tons of content, up to four, even six years worth of content in literally in a matter of minutes. So the first tool that I wanna share with you is called Answer the Public. So this is basically a free website that will give you instant raw search insights direct from minds of your customers. So you can literally find hundreds of billions of Google searches um, for whatever keyword that you wanna uh, look into. So for example, if you say, for example, you want to uh, write about essential oils, maybe you have a lavender essential oils blog and you want to create more of that type of content. So all you do is just type in lavender essential oils and it'll take you to this uh, search page right here. Now, it literally gives you five different types of results, a total of 350 results. So you have questions, you have prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, and related. Now related, I think is the most good one in terms of SEO. But let's first start off with questions. So you have 66 questions that people ask regarding lavender essential oils. So all the who, what, why, where, when questions, right? So what, so what does lavender essential oil do in a diffuser? What does it smell like? If you want to look at how, how to make lavender essential oil, how much should you put in soap? What is it good for? Who, you know, uh, which lavender oil is best for hair growth, uh, which is best for soap making, how to use lavender essential oil. So you have 66 variations uh, of people asking the who, what, where, when, why types of questions. You also have 48 prepositions. So four, right, lavender essential oils uh, for anxiety, burns. Now this is extremely really good information how really helps people who have different situations different health issues and if you want to talk about that this is really great if you are a local business you can talk about near terms so you know lavender essential oil near me or where I can get them near me where I can buy them so if you maybe are an affiliate site you can promote different uh, stores that are around you that have affiliate programs and so on and so forth and then you could do comparisons so this really helps with affiliate SEOs and just people who want to really compare compare other things with lavender essential oil right so uh, lavender essential oil and babies versus cats for dogs um, lavender essential oil as perfume you know, lavender essential oil and pregnancy. So a lot of different types of topics here that you can, you know, compare the two or, you know, see what correlates with what, right? And then the next one, which is really cool, are the alphabeticals. So there are nearly 200 alphabetical search terms that you can write about. So lavender essential oil, Amazon, uh, Cats, dogs, benefits, benefits for skin, blends, combinations for different fours, right? For burns. So you could really, really go deep and see which ones you want to write about. And the last part is related. Now, this is really, really, really good because this really helps you build topic clusters on your site. So the more clusters or the larger clusters you have on your site, the more authority you have in the eyes of Google, 
Google views your site as a source of great information regarding whatever topic, right? So for example, if you have a lavender essential oils page, or if you have a site dedicated to that, you can really create individual pages and link back to the main lavender essential oils page. So you can create a page around pregnancy, benefits for skin, cats for hair, benefits, uh, diffuser benefits for dogs, um, just benefits in general, Walmart, right? So maybe if you want to just create one skyscraper page, you could create different sections targeting all of these eight pieces. Or if you want to create more of like a a, a silo or or what I just said in terms of a topic cluster, you could create one lavender essential oil page and then create individual pages and link it back to the main page. So really, really great information here. The next tool that I love to use is the Keyword Surfer tool. So this is uh, by Surfer and it's a free Chrome extension. So it connects to your Google. So when, if you type in lavender essential oil, um, it will literally give you tons of keyword ideas and it will rank it by similarity and volume. All right, so you could see lavender essential oil benefits for hair and you see the similarity, right? And the search volume. So this is where you can maybe focus on the keywords that have high search volume, right, first. And um, you can also create a page and add all of the keywords that have high similarity, so over 50. Or you could create topic clusters and create individual pages with low similarity linking back to your main page. So that's a really great way to create topic clusters here. So let's say, for example, uh, you could look for similarity of 15, right? So lavender benefits, uh, benefits of lavender, lavender oil in bulk, lavender spray, benefits of lavender essential oil, lavender oil doTERRA. So if you are an affiliate with doTERRA, you could probably create a page around that. And you can also see volume. And if you want to see how competitive the, the SERPs are, you could look at correlation charts. So out of the top 10 pages, what's the average traffic per page? You could see how many words all of these pages have. And you could see how many times each page mentions that keyword, right? So really, really good information. And the last tool that I love and I think is amazing how they built this out is another tool by Surfer. It's their main tool. And this is where, so if you log into Surfer and you go to the content planner, you can map supportive pages that will help you rank difficult keywords. So you could build out topic clusters that will last you for over four years. So say, for example, you have a topic cluster around lavender essential oils. If you run a report, it will give you, let's see, just give it a few moments here. So it'll give you 216 clusters for your main topic. So if, say, for example, you wrote one blog article a week, every week for the year, that would be six years worth of content six years worth of content in a matter of seconds so if you are always saying oh i don't know what to talk about to write about use surfer and it'll spit out six years worth of content all right so and there's and what's be the, the beauty of this is that there's different cards now each card can be its own page all right so um, there's the main keyword and then supporting keywords. So for example, essential oils for stress. You could have a page around that and there are 15 related keywords for that. So you could target all of these 15. So essential oils for stress, stress relief, essential oil blend for stress relief, relaxation, aromatherapy to reduce stress, right? So, and you could look at the monthly search volume as well. So you could create a page 
that has a monthly search volume of almost 600 that can possibly bring you about 2,000 um, visits a month. That's huge, right? So you can also filter by different elements too. So for example, uh, if you click on more filters, you can filter by intent, right? So customer investigation. So these are clusters dominated by comparison of different products and or services, listings, catalogs, directories relevant to the cluster. You could filter by informational. So these are clusters dominated by informational content, usually long form blog posts about this topic. And then lastly, shopping. So these are clusters dominated by e-commerce category pages or a single product page. So for example, if you are a blog and you want to create informational content, right? So you could click on informational and it'll filter all of the informational ones. So essential oils dilution chart, Epsom salt bath for stress, benefits of lavender oil for skin, right? And if you want to focus on shopping, so if you are an e-commerce, filter by shopping and here you go, right? So you could see all of these different elements regarding shopping. So if you, you know, talk about tea tree oil blends, you could list out all of the top tea tree oil blends, the different brands that are currently selling them and customer investigation as well. So this is where people are kind of searching, looking for comparisons and things of that nature. You could even look at search by keywords, right? So most popular rating ranges, so maybe one to five, you could apply that or search volume. So say for example, you only wanna target the keywords that have high search volume. You could do like maybe, you know, 2K to 5K and it'll filter that. So if you wanna create a article around customer investigation and it has about five keywords with high search volume, my recommend recommendation is to create a page around essential oils for joint pain. So really, really cool, cool tool. Um, you could, there's a limit, limitless amount of topics that you could create for any type of keyword that you want. So. Hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you have uh, any questions, uh, let me know and I will see you on the next one.